Hey, Beer Army, my name is Alice, uh, Amanda, and me and Mr. White Rabbit are here to take you on a magical journey of craft beer at Rabbit Hole Brewing in Justin, Texas. We can't wait for you to be a part of it here on Brew For You. Come on. Hi, we are with Matt from Rabbit Hole Brewing. He's the head brewer here. What an honor. Oh, thank you. Yes. I do what I can. <laughs> can you tell me the science behind brewing at Rabbit Hole here? Well, sure. I mean, basically what we're looking for, we look for beer styles that are authentically different. We're trying to come up with something that is a little bit out of the ordinary from what everybody else is doing. So it's reflected in the styles of beer that we choose to make, uh, such as we, we don't do a blonde ale, which a lot of others uh, tend to make. Instead of that, we do a Kolsch which is a German blonde ale, a little right. bit different, but you don't find it as often. Yes. Uh, same thing with the brown ale. We find that to be a somewhat disrespected style. Uh, a lot of times the, the brown ales that we were finding weren't interesting. They were, yeah. they were just kind of boring and bland and overlooked. And we felt that we could make a brown ale that people would be interested in. So th this is kind of the philosophy that we use when selecting our beers. Well, Rabbit Hole is really known for having Mike Budano right. as one mm -hmm. of the partners here. Mm -hmm. How has that affected your beer? Well, tremendously, of course. I mean, it's great to have someone like Mike on board with us. He's a, a legend here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And a lot of people are very drawn to that. You know, it's just his name recognition alone. And Super so, exciting. And, and what was awesome about that is we were able to get him to come out to one of our brew days back before we were even open and wow. select some of the, the different beers. We had a lot of test batches that we would, had done and he selected our Kolsch recipe as the one that he wanted to have his name associated with. He was also the person who named it. Wow, and 561 is a reference to? 561 is the number of goals that he scored during his NHL career. That is the record for any American or U.S. born uh, NHL hockey player. That is amazing. It's such a tribute to Dallas-Fort Worth culture. Absolutely. We're, we're just thrilled to have him uh, on board with us. Sure. Now, I know you just added new tanks we did, bats, yes. mm -hmm. which is really exciting, and I know that you're just growing exponentially. As fast as we can. Yes, and I know that um, you guys are really the premier brewer for Justin, Texas, which we is are. so exciting. Mm -hmm. And in, in fact, we're actually the oldest active brewery in Denton County. Really? How wonderful is that? And we're only a year and a half old, and yet we're the oldest one in Denton County. Yes, and so that's that's an honor too, that you guys are being able to um, get Denton involved and get this community involved in your beer. Absolutely, and, yeah. and it's one of the reasons why we wanted to be here, uh, somewhere where breweries had not been before, and it's part of that same culture that we try to strive for, is be a little bit different. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Matt. You've been a pleasure to talk to. You. And um, I know that you guys have really unique, incredible beers. You've done a Wonderlust today. Which we have, is really yes. Really exciting. Yeah, uh, today is actually the launch of our uh, the, the current version of our Wonderlust seasonal beer. It is a Saison, and it is available for the first time uh, here today this season. We also have a number of other beers from years past or year past, I suppose, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that we brought out. We've actually been hiding them in our cellar. So uh, they're available for people to try. Uh, one of which is the Off With Your Red, which was a, a hoppy beer that we made back in the fall. And one of what is this one right here. Actually, this is our Whole Lang Syne. It was our New Year's beer. Love the Whole Lang Syne, it'll, it's amazing. It'll be available on tap in about 10 minutes, but being the brewer, I, I, I know where the key is. <laughs> so I was able to pour myself a, a, a sneak peek of it. Make, you know, make sure it's okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matt. You were wonderful. I wish I had a beer, but I'm toasting you to your amazing success here at Rabbit Hole Brewing. Cheers. Thank you. Yes. Oh, and if you need a beer, I know where you can get some. I would love some. Let's do, Let's go do it. What would a brewery be without its super fans? And we are here today with some of the best. You guys are at Rabbit Hole today. Yes. What's your favorite beer that you guys are going to be trying today? What, what are you mine, excited about? Mine's the Wonderlust. I absolutely love the Wonderlust, and I'm so excited that it's back. But I also like everything else, so yes. it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm a big, I'm a big Hole and Zine fan. How about yes. you? Yes, I like, like that Rapture. one too. You like Rapture? Nice. Well, they're doing an oak. Uh, oak aged rapture today. Awesome. Awesome and delicious. It's so good. So have you guys been to the brewery before? Yes. 
multiple times. Are you from Justin, Texas? No. No. <laughs> travel, travel miles and miles down the uh, yes. down the rabbit hole to be able to wind up here. Yes. Huh? That is so cool. <laughs> We, you know, we're big beer fans. I'm sure you guys are huge craft beer fans. We are. And what do you think makes Rabbit Hole the best? What do you, what do you guys like about it the most? The atmosphere, the brewers, the people. It's, the people. It's always just a fun, fun time. Like yep. we never, we've gone to other events not here on location, like at other release events and stuff. Right. And it's always just. It's, it's almost like family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Well, that's so cool. Well, you guys need to get in and get some beer. Yes, yes. we do. All right, go. <laughs> from Rabbit Hole Brewing and he's going to give us an awesome flight of delicious beers. Uh, you have a awesome Wonderland beer that you're featuring today as a Saison. Yep, yep. Uh, Summer of Wonderland we break out a lot of different beers that we don't normally have available. Uh, some test batches. So we have some test batches to try today. We also are releasing Wonderlust uh, which came out last year. It was our first seasonal. So this is actually the first seasonal to come back. And this year, Wonderlust, which is a Saison, is filtered. So it's a oh, little bit wow. different than last year, but we didn't have the filter last year. We got it in January. Great. So excited to try that. That's exciting. Uh, so we got Wonderlust right here. You can okay. see it's nice and clean and from the filtering. And, yes. Uh, it just looks great. You want to try that? I do. And you're drinking out of one of our new concept glasses here. We're going to start doing a chess set with our glassware. So you have a pawn in your hand. Wow. It's a pawn in your little beer games. Yes. Look at my pawn. <laughs> uh, this is this is awesome. Uh, you know, Saison's have like lemon and citrus and um, definitely a little bit of um, coriander and those sort of notes. Uh, pepper finish usually at the end. But this one has um, some sort of like fruit -y taste, which is delicious and wonderful. I love it. It's awesome. I'm drinking some too. <laughs> Who am I to withhold you from delicious beer? It's crazy because I've been running around so much. I haven't been drinking yet today, but I'm ready. Now it's the time. <laughs> and you're just scratching the surface. There's some other test batches you'll have to try after our flight. Too. I'm, uh, th this whole mm. day is just this is good. a day for beer. Can I just, can you just film me just drinking the rest of the day? That's yeah. all I really, I don't even want to talk anymore. Okay, well, unfortunately, we have to keep going with Let's this. go next with, uh, this is a test batch. This is an IPA that's, that's actually out of our test batches. Usually when we do a test batch day like we're doing today, we take one of them and we make a production beer out of it. This one is going to be turned into a production batch. Uh, may have slight variances, uh, like, the color, it hasn't, everything hasn't dropped out as much as it would in a production batch. Um, when we do test batches, they typically stay a little cloudier, but um, that IPA is going to actually be brewed in July. This is awesome. I'm like, I really, it's so good. Yep. It's um, super like piney and resiny. It's some good tropical floral oh, notes to yeah, it. The definitely. nose is beautiful on this <sighs> beer. Uh, it's intoxicating. Yes, intoxicating. <laughs> and if you splash a little on you, you become intoxicating to the opposite sex. Ooh. Or same sex. So next, uh, test batch. This is Rapture, which is our fusion brown ale. But we call it a fusion brown ale because it's a European brown ale, but we use an American ale yeast. So we took this and aged it on oak and oh my gosh, it came out so good. So now we're talking about how can we get this in a production? We gotta figure out a way to do it because it's absolutely amazing. You must try that. I, don't know why I, I love say. brown ales, they are so good. She loves brown ales, they are so good. <laughs> See, now you have something for outtakes. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Woo! That is so good. Well, I love the rapture. Just yeah. Alone, Already, yeah. You know, and then you you put oak in it. Well, we have like... today. We have regular rapture. We have got the oak aged rapture. We also have the Kopi Luwak rapture. So we right. made two casts of it. We had one at Untapped Fort Worth. Yes, we have we one tried here that. for Memorial Day today, uh, and then we also have rapture ice cream that Luck made for us. I know. It's what? absolutely amazing. Oh. You put a scoop of that in Rapture, 
done. You know what? I might just keep this one. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So, in addition to our test batches and our new release of Wonderlust, today is Summer in Wonderland. We also have some of our beers that have come out in the past that we kept a keg back just for today. So nice. we have a keg of, actually a slim, so it's not very much, of Ho Lang Syne, which is our New Year's beer. Yay, that's so exciting. So it's a Belgian Golden Strong Ale with blackberries and raspberries. Now it's been aged for six months, so it's going to develop some unique characteristics just from the aging process. I personally get a lot more fruit off of it than I did uh, when we first released it. A little bit more, the flavors have melded together a little bit more. That's even and, yeah. better than the last right? time. And you're right. The yeah. The fruit is definitely a lot more prominent now that it's aged for a while. I mean, you can smell the blackberries and raspberries. And you can smell the, the awesomeness. You can smell all the goodness and deliciousness really of this beer. It's so good. I kind of want to film the crew filming us drinking beer looking like, I can't believe I don't have beer in my They're hands. salivating. It's gross. I know. <laughs> and we, I heard we just ran out of all these. Oh. I'm just kidding. That's a shame. There's enough for you guys. He's laughing. Camera's shaking. Is the anti-stabilization on? <laughs> He's had one too many. Cut him off. Cut him off. <laughs> yeah. I actually like that better than the last time. And that, uh, it really is. That's an amazing, amazing beer. All right, you want to try my drinking trick with me? Okay. Which one do you want? I'm going to be a lot more sloppy than you. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I've never done it, so this will be fun. Oh, dear, <laughs> yeah. oh God. Which one do you want? <laughs> um, all right. Which one will I be that get the least on me? I guess I'll go for this one. All right, just going Here with go. Wonderless. Yeah. Ooh, this is a choice. All right, I'm, I guess I'll actually try whole length side. Why not? <laughs> all right, you want to count us down? <laughs> do we, do we, should we cross our hands behind our backs right, so that sure. we don't get, so that we don't have, this seems like a horrible this idea. Is a I can't really wait. This really awful idea. Do I need a bib? Yeah, stretch for this? my mouth. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> Do I need a bib? You'll be fine. Okay. You just get your whole mouth around it. You'll be okay, fine. Okay, so I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count to five. Okay. okay. All right. Ready? <laughs> no, I'll count you down. All okay. Right. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Yeah, this is harder than I thought. Oh, this seems like a, oh my God, he did it. I had to use my teeth. I couldn't get, I thought my mouth could go around that. I was mistaken. There you go. This is my, my veneers are, are. Just chomp down. Screwed. You got I, it, no, I you did. got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was awesome. <laughs> Get drafted. Yeah. <laughs> and sloppy. I know, get drafted, yeah. This is, um, this is gonna be a, a wild ride, let me tell ya. So thank you so much, Tate. Absolutely. We, uh, we can't wait to try more beer, and hopefully it won't be as disgusting as what we just witnessed. <laughs> yeah. well, you never know. <laughs> you never know. All right, awesome. We will see you for more beer. Brew for you. Number nine, number nine. Took my Cheers! Oh, be proud. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. Woo. <laughs> Brew for You is absolutely honored to be talking to Greg Scott, who is the mayor of Justin, Texas. And you were at Rabbit Hole today, which is obviously very exciting. Absolutely. Every year. Yes. Every year. And uh, did, did you, were you the one to make the decision to bring Rabbit Hole here? Well, I would say they had the decision, but we encouraged them yeah. <laughs> very much, very, yes. very much. Yes, yes. We're glad they're here. Yes. How does it feel to have a brewery that's actually in your town? It's exciting. It uh, is. It brings a lot of people to Justin that have never been here before. It uh, gives them a, a real taste of what craft brewing is all about, and they get to see what our city is all about, and we've got a lot of things going on here that make people happy. That's, That's exciting. a good thing. Quality of life. That is so wonderful. Now you tell me, what makes Justin so special? Justin's special. 
we're a small town with uh, big aspirations, but not to get up past where we are as far as having a small town feel. We love, we, we know everybody, people, all these people here know each other. It's a destination for that. Yes, that so. is so great. And as a as the mayor of Justin, Texas, are you just so proud of everything that Justin is accomplishing, having a brewery here, um, being able to have everybody gather together today? Absolutely. We, that, that's what makes Justin what it is. We have different areas we gather, and uh, Rabbit Hole is one of them. Uh, we're about to have Justin Fun Days here in two weeks, and Rabbit Hole is our exclusive brewer for that. We're going to have bull that's riding exciting. and concerts. Bull and, riding? Yeah. What? That is so right great. Right here. Nice. Right here in that's Justin, That's exciting. Texas. I love that. We're going to be there, too. <laughs> That it's, sounds it's great. Quite, it's quite a trip. Uh, there'll probably be five, six thousand people here. Wow. So it's that quite is, exciting. That is, that is so great. Absolutely. That's amazing. Well, I love, you know, beer is about community and obviously. Exactly. Yes. And obviously Justin is a place where everybody really comes together and, and you know, knows each other. And that's amazing. So. It is. Right. Well, I think it's really cool. I've actually never seen a mayor at a brewery for an event, so I think it's really amazing that you, you know, you get to go in for everything, all the events that go on around the city. I meet a city. lot of really great people, such as yourself. Oh, uh, there's a whole lot of other people here on. that we meet that you'd be surprised how you touch people and we're not that far apart. Oh, that's so great. Well, so nice to meet you, nice Greg. Hey, Beer Army, we're back with Daner here at Rabbit Hole, and he is from Bessel Group Fest in Texas, and they are doing amazing things for Cloud9 Charities, which is so exciting. Absolutely. You guys are hosting a beer festival in June. Yes. On June 20th. Absolutely. And you are doing 100% of your proceeds are going to charity. Yes. Last year, for Cloud9 Charities, we raised $50,000. We support local charities in Denton County and Tarrant County. And uh, it's uh, only our second year to do the festival. As far as I know, we are the only 100% for charity beer festival. That is so exciting. Now you're going to have so many breweries out that are going to be um, debuting their some new beers Absolutely. at your festival. Yes. And they're going to be competing for some wonderful, wonderful prizes and definitely some bragging rights as well. Absolutely. We, uh, we compete uh, Texas only beers. And last year, Rabbit Hole won a gold medal with the Rapture, and then their Mike Madonna 561 won a silver medal. Okay. And it's um, our top beer went to GBF and won a gold medal there. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I think we're doing something right. We're new. We're starting this out, and we want to really grow it and make it something special for Texas. Sure. And now, besides the fact that you guys are doing the beer there and you guys are donating to charity, you're going to also have uh, bands there. You're going to have local artists, which is really amazing. Yes, we have two stages. We have a main stage and an acoustic stage. Our main stage is in the new city park in Louisville, Ferguson Park. Our acoustic is with our wine and spirits. We have a small section of uh, distilled spirits and local wines, and there's acoustic mu music over in that section. So you guys are going to be hosting your event in Louisville, and if people want to go, they can buy tickets online? Yes, at blbfit.com. Our tickets are on sale now. Last year we had 4,000 people. This year we're expecting about 6,000. Uh, we sold out. Wow. So if they, people need tickets, they really should. They look really at that. need to get on it now. Yeah. Now, what's really cool is I'm actually going to be judging yes. and co hosting the event for yes. Festival Brew Fest. And I can't wait to see Dana there. It's going to be so fun. We, it is a party. Some very interesting people wind up <laughs> showing up, and uh, it makes it very interesting. Well, as long as Tate is there, we're going to have. Oh, that, he's the. He is the kicker. Yes. He's yes. The, as fun as they come. Well, we have uh, we have a present for you. Oh, really? Yes, we do. Uh oh. Uh, this is a T-shirt from Brew for You. Oh. Because you have gotten drafted. All right. Oh yeah, I'm for in. sure. I'm Here all you go. in. Thank Hold you. it up. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much, Dana, and we'll see you at the festival. Love you guys. Thank yes. you. Yes. We're so excited. Get drafted. So we're leaving our tap room. We're gonna go back into the brew house here and check. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Hi. Uh, do I know you? You look familiar. I don't know. All right. Well, come on with us. Um, I don't have any beer. The... I could really use a beer if, if that would be. Yes. You need beer. Yes. Uh, we'll get it somewhere. Okay. 
So we're going back into the brew house now. And uh, and this is you got some uh, got, you got some, some kegs, kegs here. here and they're yeah. named after people, which is cool. Yeah, we we like to allow people. I, I don't know if you want to spin around and, and see some of these names that we have on here. But what we allow our fans to do is they can actually name a keg for just five bucks. And whenever the keg goes out of the brew house, they'll get an email that says what beer is in it and where the keg went. So they can follow it around. So brew for you can name a keg. You can name a keg. That's going to so, happen. <laughs> that's just five bucks. I mean, that's nothing. Let's continue to go back to the brew house here. Okay. And, uh, and you, got, you got your baths back here. Yep. And we just got some more tanks installed here. Uh, and then today for our Memorial Day event, we got some vendors in here as well that do all all this leather work. Uh, you can see our tanks up here. Look at all these glorious stainless steel. That's and that's people can what name, beer is made. Name the tanks too? Well, they could have, but there's not many. They were already named. Wow! <laughs> nice. This uh, this tank holds. This is Bob. 40, Forty barrels. Forty yep. barrels. Yeah. It's about just a little over 1,200 gallons of beer. Which is about a week's worth of beer for me. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. Give or take. Give or take. Give or take. Know, give or one take. or two gallons. It's, it's all the same. Yeah. Anyway. So let's continue outside. Okay. Uh, hopefully it's not raining. I don't think it's raining. I still need beer, so whenever you want to you know, help me out with that. So we're going to go into our, our uh, craft area here. This is so. Oh, look at all this cornhole going on. I love it. So the craft area, we we decided that we wanted to be as family friendly as possible. Uh -huh. So we decided to have some crafts available for the so kids. So you decided to set up the cornhole over there. Cornhole. Uh, we got <laughs> we got coloring books that has like all of the you, permanent staff here. There. I am in there. I am. I'm in there. Matt's in there. Laren's in there. Tom's in there. It's awesome. Yes. You got. You can build your own delivery van. And I can make a hat. You can make a hat. You got a rat hatter here. He's been here. hatted. Thank you for the hatter. Why yeah. don't I have a hat? Oh. I want a hat. Okay, she needs a hat. <laughs> yeah, rat hatter making hats. It's it's just lots of fun for a whole family. Yes. So, yeah. So we should get you a beer, though. Look at this beer line. Oh, my goodness. I have a cowboy hat. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, I'm glad you're a cowboy fan. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Nice. This is so cool. I love my hat. Look at yeah. your hat. I can't. My eyes are here. I don't know how to do that. It looks beautiful. Does it look good? You're a glorious right. looking human being. <laughs> right? Stop. I get that a lot. A Greek guy. Oh, guy. she's my new favorite person right here. <laughs> she just gave me a compliment. You're my nice Let's get beer. Person. Okay, here we go. Keep going. Knife? What? Did you who say knife? Who said that? I don't know. All right, let's get some beer. This tour is now, you can't get beer anymore. You have to go wait in line. <gasps> I want to go. I, I got to be your first favorite for you to get beer. <laughs> say. Okay, you're my first favorite. All right. Yes. All right, what would you like over here? So, uh, everything. Whole Enzyme, Dark Snark, uh, Off With Your Red, and Rapture is available. And you have the sangria season. Yes, yes. So, I don't know if they've, they've been able to see the Randalls in between. Yeah, let's do, I want the, I want the sangria season. Okay. Dark Snark. Dark Snark. And Off With Your Red. All in one glass. All Hold one glass now. Can you do the uh, sangria wonderlust there? So we have a Randall, which I, I don't think you can see from here because it's between here, but right. we'll, we'll have to do a, a pickup shot, as they call it, in the biz. A pickup shot. No. Uh, so what we're doing is we're randling. As you pour the beer, it's going through a chamber that's filled with all these different fruits so that it's flash infusing it with those flavors. Pretty Perfect. awesome. Finally, I got it. That'll a be the voiceover for the pickup shot. Okay. <laughs> this is delicious. I've been drinking. Sang Go ahead. Sangria Saison. That's our Wonderlust through the Randall. I know. It's amazing. I like your cowboy hat. It's pretty cool. Now you have to drink that, and then we have to cut, or are we going to keep going? All right. We're going. Let's go. Because you need more beer here, too. Oh, and then we have to Howdy. say hi to everybody at Adelbert's. Hi. We just, we just say, I like his money hat. That's money. I like his money hat, too. That's How are you guys great. doing? What's up, Tate? Hey. How's it going? Hey, what's going on? We're going to sneak by on, here. 
How's it going? Hey, Pooch! Whoa, I'm taller now with that. I want, yeah. This is a great hat. Okay, so, got, so, we're, so we're saying hi to everybody over this yes. way. Yes, got Adelbert's, Oasis, uh, Bishop Cider Company's here. We got our Sons of John's we got, guys. We got some awesome Jason's over, over here, here that are hiding in the corner. Laren's over here. Curtis. Beers today. Yes. yes. So we're pouring a bunch of different beers. I've worked trying beer. It's awesome. And what all do we have over here? We've got Oasis is over here in the cans. Then Bishop Cider. And look at that. Adelbert's. My goodness. You got. What do you have there? Is that 2013 vintage? Monks, Vintage Monk. My beers. goodness. That's wow. unbelievable. So great beers here. Yeah. You're, you're not done with yours, so you can't get any more now. Oh, uh, then, oh, Mystical Coffee. All right, uh, we're trying them all. Mystical Coffee's over here. Mystical Coffee, they're the ones that made the coffee for us that's in that Kopi Luwak Rapture cast that's inside. Yes. They're also pouring coffee for us today. They're based out of Plano. Oh, their coffee's delicious. That's what's kept me going all day. Cause I had some Kopi, Kopi Luwak, the coffee that's in the Rapture cask in there. They also have it available over here as well. You got multiple different kinds of coffee. Oh, so good. It keeps, Great, you know, love it. You gotta, gotta have fuel, right? You gotta keep going. Right, of course. Oh, well, and then Best Little Best Brew Little Fest is here. Daner already? Yeah, he's Daner's just, cool people. Oh, he's the best. Well, best second kind of people. best. Well, yeah, so I'm just second. Saying. Oh, and the then little puppy dog. Oh, goodness gracious. Too much. Too much. I'm stealing that dog today. How are you it's doing? gonna happen. Doing good? good to see you. Good to see you as well. Happy. You been doing all right? Yeah, it's doing awesome. Oh gosh, that's too cute. Oh my god. You can't steal it though. It belongs to somebody, it right? No, no, then, no. Uh, it's actually going to happen. Like if I walk away with a dog, then you know, you didn't see me. The best is about to come. So this best? is this is the most awesome table right here because this is the entrance. Oh, okay. So this is where everybody comes in and gets to have beer and gets a tasting card. And uh, it's also the exit. So thanks for what? coming. What? I... Oh, man. It's Tate with Rabbit Hole. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this festival. It's been a blast. I really don't know where Alice, uh, Amanda went, but she took off somewhere. But anyway, get drafted. Thank you guys. Love beer.